Hi, welcome to a new video in this series on Yocto. In the previous two videos, we saw how to set up an Ubuntu PC as a Yocto build machine and then saw how to build our very first Yocto image. Do check these videos out on the channel. The links are in the description. In this video, we talk about creating a new Yocto layer and adding it to our current build. Creating a custom layer is often the very first step towards building your own custom image for your target hardware. This custom layer is then used to store your own recipes, package groups and lots more. So let's do this. current source tree looks like. I have a folder named Yocto that contains all my Yocto related source code. Let me now go into my pokey directory and let me source my OE init build environment script with my build directory which is called build. By the way, if you are looking to grasp the basics of Yocto, how to set up your machine and to do your first ever build check out kickstartembedded.com. The relevant blog post links are in the description as well. Anyway, back to our task. Once you have sourced the script, you will automatically enter the current build directory to see the layers that are currently a part of the build and in general to do any layer related operations. We will use the bitbake layers script available to us after the build environment is sourced. To see what this script can do, let us execute the script with the help argument. You can see that this script allows you to do various operations regarding layers. You can add a layer, you can remove a layer, you can flatten all the layers, you can create a new layer and so on. Let us now create our own layer. It is considered a good practice to have a layer name start with the word meta followed by a dash, although this is not mandatory. To create the layer, let us execute the bitbake layer script with the argument create layer. We will also specify the path where we want the layer to be created. Let us say we want to create the layer named meta example layer in the same folder that has our other meta layers. We will simply execute bitbake layers, create layer and provide the correct path. The output prompts us to add this layer to the build using the command given on the screen. Let us do that now. We simply call bitbake layers with the add layer argument and then provide the path to the new layer that we just created. To, to see if this action was successful, we will now use the same script to show us all the layers currently in our build. To do that, we simply call bitbake layers show layers. You can see that the meta example layer is now a part of our build. Let us now understand what this script did for us. If you go back to the path, you see that there is now a new folder named meta example layer. This has four automatically created files. One is called the copying.mit, which is basically a license file that has been created automatically. There is a dummy readme. It's a good idea to use this readme to provide any layer related information to the user. There is a very important folder called conf that actually contains your layer configuration. The layer configuration contains various variables, for example, the BB path. What the BB path variable does is very similar to what the path variable does in our operating systems. This particular line simply appends the layer directory to the entire BB path or the bitbake path. There is another very important variable called bbfiles. 
BB files is a variable that tells BitBake where to search for a particular recipe. You can see that two new paths are now appended. These are the current layer directory slash recipes and then there is a wildcard. What this tells us is that any recipe can be found from this layer as long as the path looks something like this. For example, you may have a folder called recipes example and then you may have one more folder and then have your bitbake recipe located there. The same holds true for any bitbake append file. To know what a bitbake recipe is and what a bitbake append file is, do check out the blog post which introduces Yocto. The link is given in the description. Another important configuration is the compatibility. You can see that this was automatically created with Dunfell. This is so because my current Yocto version is Dunfell. If you used a different version, you would have a different string written here. What the script also did was created a sample recipe for us. This recipe is housed in a folder called recipes example and then you have a folder called example. Let us open this. Now the example underscore 0.1.bb is a very simple, very basic bit bake recipe that is created by the tool. What it will do is when this recipe is being baked, it would display a banner on the screen that says example recipe created by bit bake layers. Let us now modify this to say um, Let's say we just want to write kickstart embedded on YouTube. All right. And what this does is it will add a task called display banner before the actual build is done. We will close this and let us now rename this. Let's call this example BB. Oops. Okay, so we have now customized the simple recipe that the tool auto generated for us. Let us now try to bake this. It's a good idea to try this so that we know that all the layer configuration went through correctly. The way to bit bake the recipe is to simply enter bit bake example bb. Now, if the bit bake was able to find our layer and it was able to find our recipe, then we should have the build going through correctly. Let's check that. As you can see, the recipe was baked successfully and we also have the print that we expected, which is kickstart embedded on YouTube. That's it. You have successfully created a new layer and also tested that it was added correctly to your build configuration. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.